Hello, within Vertex BD 2024, we have some new functionality for 3D panel stacking. So let's take a look. Within the main ribbon and the output tab, we now have 3D panel stacking available. Let's first visit the stack settings. Within the stack settings dialog box, there are some common settings for amending the layout when editing the stacks within the model view. You can amend the distance between the stacks, the distance between stack rows, the direction and number of stacks, and you also have the checkbox option to update items after moving them available here. Below that, we have default presentation options here. We recommend you use the box option as it's the quickest way and is good for creating and editing stacks. Below that option, we have the stacking principle option, which allows you to alter between the area, length and width. For this example, we will use area. Let's have a look at creating stacks. First, within the 3D panel stacking section of the output tab, we select the edit stack content option. This will then load up the modify stack content dialog box. Within here, you can select all should you wish to, but do you really want to select all? Maybe you'd just like to select the wall panels. Selecting based on type is very easy and you can filter through should you only want to select specifics from your project. For this example, let's take the external walls from the ground floor. With those selected, we right click and choose create stacks. Now the stack properties window will be displayed. Within here, we select to copy stack values from the library. Within here, we have the default stack options, so we will select this one. Once selected, BD will go back to the stack properties window. Here, we will amend the net dimensions width slightly and we'll also take the dimensions based on content option. This option is good for when you don't have standard packages. Now, with that completed, let's do the same with our first floor walls. Again, we select these in the modify stack content dialog box, right click, create stack, and we will repeat the process with the same values as before. So we select the copy values option as shown here and press okay. We also need to be able to distinguish between our stacks. For example, is the stack from the same floor or a different? Is the stack the same stack type, etc. Due to this, you can amend the stack markings. This can be done as shown by floor, by type, or by stack. By floor, you have these default colorways, but you can customize these to suit by simply double clicking. For this example, we'll stick with the defaults. We have added those panels into the framing model, and so as you can see, they now have taken the colours as per our prior selections for our stacks. From the document browser, let's select to edit the stacks in model option as shown. Here, as you can see, the stacks are the same colours. We have the first floor panels here, and the ground floor panels here. It's always very important that you have stacked all panels. So let's edit a few of the panels that we have here within this project. Let's take this panel from stack two, E1. We will take this panel away from stack two and press okay. We have our marking colors for this purpose. It makes it easy for you to check whether or not those panels are within a certain stack. Let's activate this one. As you can see, we haven't stacked those horizontal panels and trusses yet, hence they show as red. But as you can see, in terms of our ground floor walls, now this panel is missing, and thus it's also showing red. This is the one we just amended and removed from the stack. Let's get rid of the red and correct our missing panel. Okay, so with that completed and all now done, all our stacks are now ready. Let's take a look at editing these. The green box around the panel shows us that this stack is editable, so you are able to update the size according to the panels you have stacked within. But this one with the blue box is a standard fixed size stack and you cannot change it by the panel size. Let's have a look at how we can edit this one. 
If we want to move this panel, we have a few different means of doing so. We can right click, select and move it to our desired location. We can also select the panel and as you can see, there are grip points at the edges. If we select this grip point, as you can see, it goes green. We then can select a second panel. So we will select this one and we will choose this grip point here. As you can see, once selected, it moves the first panel and connects it to the second we selected. We then right click and select the update size option, which updates the stack accordingly. You can also use these arrows here to rotate the panel within the stack as needed, or utilize the other arrows if needed to move the panel along horizontally and vertically as required. With those changes made, the stack is now amended and ready. As you saw already when you click the panel, you can see the tip text. This shows basic dimensions and IDs from the panel. It is also possible to make different kinds of presentations from the stack view, like by right clicking and changing to layer. Now this is set according to layer. This enables you to see their shape a bit better. You can also change it to parts, but presenting by box is ideal for most use cases. You can also amend the presentation of individual stacks if you require. You can do this by amending the individual stack. To do this, edit the stack from the document browser. Then right click and select presentation and within here you can change the presentation from box to layers or parts. In our example, we'll change the presentation to layers and then save. Now, when we go back to the stack view, you can see that the amended stack has changed and it's now presented as layers over the box format. Don't forget to make sure you're happy with all the changes and once you are, select mark elements in stack as shown and then hit the OK button. You always have more space available should you need to add something to your project's packages. For example, take this number eight stack. There is space within here. So if we select the stack, right click and choose create space for accessories, a dialog box will open whereby we can add in the width, height, length, etc. for our space for accessories. And we can then apply this to within our number eight panel stack. Now that is placed, we have the space reserved ready for any accessories we may want to add. Now the stacking is completed and ready, so we must go on to making the documentation for our stacks. Here within our output tab, we select the 3D panel stacking section and hit the create drawings option from the drop down menu. We select the 3D view drawing option and hit the OK button. BD then creates our drawings from our previously created and amended panel stacks, taking the information from each stack. Within the stack drawing, you will have basic information about the stack itself, what the building is named, who the customer is, a list of the panels, dimensions and weights, as well as other information about the stack. Stack drawings are then available within the document browser. Within here, there are stacking and stack drawings and you can select, open and print those out from here. We also have function to make reports from the stacks. Let's take a look at the stat report. This is available within the output tab and Excel lists. Within here, you can create stack reports as required. These are the basic information about each stack. The report includes the ID and the dimensions, how many panels you have in the stack and their value of the dimensions. Let's create also the content of the stat report. This report showcases to us the stat by stat list of panels, which make up each individual stack. Thanks for joining us.